Good morning, my beautiful creatives. This is Chrissy B with beautifulcreatives.com. Welcome to day seven of 30 Days with Chrissy B. Today, I want to show you one of my absolute favorite stovetop potpourris to put together to make your house smell amazingly fall-like. Fall is one of my absolute favorite times of the year and I absolutely adore the smell of fall. My mom used to put this together on the stove when I was a little girl and it's something that I really enjoy doing as well. Not only does it make your house smell amazing, but it puts moisture in your air, which is excellent for when it's really cold outside. You will need some ingredients for this recipe, but this recipe is completely and totally modifiable. You use whatever you have on hand. Um, I like to use whole cloves, cinnamon sticks. I like to use an orange or two, a lemon or two, sometimes limes if I have those on hand, and I like to use sliced apples. So let's get started. Okay, so I've got my pot of water ready to go. I filled it up a little more than halfway. You just wanna make sure that you put enough water in here that when you fill it up with your goodies, um, it's not gonna overflow. Then I have one orange, one lemon, three apples, some whole cloves, and I usually use whole cinnamon, but I didn't have any, so I'm gonna use ground cinnamon. Like I said, you're just gonna use what you've got on hand. And I'm gonna slice my fruit, leaving the peels on. I want them to be kind of thin, but I want them to not fall apart, so I'm not gonna make them too thin. And even already, they smell so good being sliced. They're just so delicious. And I'm gonna just slide those into the water. Same with the lemon and the apples. I'm gonna take the stems off the apples and then slice those up as well. And I don't know if I need to use all three of them, but I will use a few. I also like to choose, my husband and I buy a lot of apples because we do a lot of smoothies throughout the week. And I like to pick apples that maybe are about to go mealy. Because really all you're wanting is the scent from them. We're not gonna be eating these apples. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more. Aren't they so pretty? I just think they're so beautiful. Then I'm gonna sprinkle in about a handful of cloves. You can put as much or as little as you want of this. So I do like to do a generous amount, especially since I don't have whole cinnamon today. Another thing that you can use to make your house smell really good is choose a tea. Put a few tea bags in there, take the string and the paper off. I'm gonna give this a little bit of a stir to get the cinnamon down into the water. Not beautiful, but trust me, it's gonna smell so good. You just wanna put this on low and let that start to simmer. And that's pretty much it. An easy peasy, short and easily doable stovetop potpourri to make your house smell like fall. I hope you enjoyed this recipe today. I know it was short and sweet and quick, but I know you're just gonna love this. So give this a try. Remember, use whatever you have on hand. Citrus works really well, apples work really well, whole cinnamon, 
ground cinnamon's fine too. You would have to use more ground cinnamon than you did you do if you used a couple of cinnamon sticks. That's why I like using cinnamon, cinnamon sticks better. But use whatever you have on hand and make your own scents, whatever mix that you want for your holiday smell. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you so much, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.